He going over to Bloomberg. Bloomberg gonna run all these ads. They gonna push this, try to push this DN, this Democratic uh, d like field more into the center because the white ghost of voters that that haven't consistently voted for them need them to be in the center. Well, they got a problem because they gonna leave the black voters from voting at all. As I've said, my position is the same as uh, breaking Browns, the same as we said at the conference. Down ballot Democratic. Understand when I say down ballot Democratic, that doesn't mean that you have to vote Democrat on every single item down ballot. Let me be clear. When I vote, I've done it in 08 and in 12 and in 16. I didn't like the, the, the ticket at the top. But down ballot, you consistently vote Democratic unless you got a candidate that you fully research and you don't like their policies. I did that with Jackie Lacey here in uh, Los Angeles. She was a D Democratic district attorney. I didn't vote for her. I just abstained from that too. What I'm saying to you today is that the Republicans don't have a lot for us. What I'm saying to you today is for our vote, you're going to have to have a lot for us. I want to have this discussion today. Please go to ToneTalks.org, subscribe and donate, share this video. Let's get it. Hey, what's going on, fam? So y'all just saw that video I played, and the reason why I played it was to continue to drive the point home of exactly what was said, because a lot of people keep showing up on my channel lying about what was said, and I'm probably going to address some, some more of those lies in another constructive discourse video, so be prepared for that. That's probably going to be my next video after this one, just addressing a little bit more directly than I am in this video some of those lies. But I'm not talking about that today. Not in this video, at least. So, again, I played that, that clip as a reminder. But the reason why I'm making this video is to uh, talk about just further why we need to stay away from the Democrats. And I know, and I want to explain something to y'all about me before I start talking about the video. And that's that I'm stubborn. First of all, I believe as a fighter, as someone on the battlefield in the fight against white supremacy, as someone on the battlefield in the fight against racism, I feel it is my duty. I feel it is my duty to speak out against strategies that would take our people off track. Especially strategies that are coming from people who our people believe are people that are giving them advice in their interest and giving them advice that will help them topple white supremacy. Because that's my whole mission, is to topple white supremacy. So if someone is has gained influence and position or a movement or an organization has gained influence and position with black people, especially black people that are looking for a way to end the system of white supremacy... If these, if this movement or organization or person is operating under the guise of telling black people how to end white supremacy and all they're doing is, is giving advice that will empower and extend the life of white supremacy, I have to speak out against that. Otherwise, why am I here? What am I talking about? So it would be a dereliction of my duty not to speak out against dangerous strategies like vote down ballot for the Democrat. It would be a dereliction of my duty. But not only would it be a dereliction of my duty, I'm stubborn. Meaning that the more people push back against me on something that I feel is right, the more I'm going to talk about it. That's why I did my Marion Williamson videos and that's why I did three videos about her. I talked about that last video. That's why I did three videos about her, because I got more dislikes on those Marion Williamson videos than I got on any other video I posted on my channel. Even recently with the down ballot stuff, the part of the reason why I've gone back and gone over and over and on that is because I keep getting pushed back. And the more you push back, the more you fight me. If I know that I'm right, the more I'm going to talk about it, because that tells me that I'm hitting a nerve with my people. A nerve that I should be hitting. So if you're a down ballot supporter and a Democrat supporter, it's probably and you want me to stop talking about down ballot. 
it's probably in your best interest to not show up on my channel. Don't comment to argue with me. Don't come, don't come thumbs down my video. Because if you do any of that, it's probably going to make me even more likely to talk about the subject more. Look, I've lost more followers than I've ever lost in a single month over this past month. YouTube analytics show you that. Now, I still had a net gain. Meaning that I gained more followers than I lost. I've lost over 80 followers. But I've gained over 90. As far as subscribers to my channel. But I don't care. As, as, as a matter of fact, it's a good sign. That people to me are unsubscribing. It's a good sign to me that people are unsubscribing to my channel. Because number one, it helps me keep a low profile. And number two, it tells me that I'm driving away people who don't want to hear the truth and don't want to have constructive discourse. So it's like house clean. And yes, I said I want to keep a low profile, just like your leader said that um, we need to have a strategy to keep the CIA from coming at us or whatever which I believe is BS. But I digress, because that's not what this is about. So let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. As y'all can see, the, the um, screen cap is from Yvette Carnell. And what she's talking about is um, Dems have basically decided to throw ADOS voters away. And she's commenting on a tweet, the tweet that's below her comment, and it's from Cynthia McKinney. And Cynthia McKinney is saying, Democrats announced to a friend of mine directly that they no longer cared about the black vote. And Cynthia McKinney is a form, former congresswoman, for those of y'all who don't know. But Cynthia McKinney said, Democrats announced to a friend of mine directly that they no longer cared about the black vote, that they were focusing on the Latino vote. This policy is a result of that decision making. Combine that with Dem policy to allow non-citizen voting in U.S. elections. So, basically, Cynthia McKinney is talking about how the Democrats don't care about the black vote anymore, which they don't. And that they're focusing on the Latino vote. And that there are policies out there that people are putting out, Democrats are putting out, that are doing things like allowing illegals, illegal immigrants to vote and have driver's license before they will allow American citizens with felonies to vote and have driver's license, even though many of them have felonies over some BS, and especially if they're an ADOS black American, over some white supremacy fake charges, or some trumped up, over-exaggerated charges. Yet a black American who, there's a good chance that they were just a victim of white supremacy, when they got their charges, not always, but most of the time, it was just them being victimized by white supremacy when they got charged. Because half the time it's a charge that a white man would have got off for, or a white woman would have got off on, and would have got a warning or a ticket for. They can't vote. But now an illegal immigrant can they can vote, they're going to be able to drive when a felon can't do either of those things. And a lot of times you can have a, a felony just because you were trying to feed yourself. Yeah, you may have sold weed or whatever crack, but a lot of times you did that because of the situation and the environment you grew up in in a system of white supremacy, and you did what you felt you had to do. Yet, even if you've turned your life around, you can't vote, you can't drive, in a lot of states. But illegal immigrants can. Who didn't. Whose ancestors didn't pay the blood price. And that's what Yvette is saying. In this tweet. She's saying that they have basically decided to throw us away. And she's right. They have decided to throw us away. She's 100% right. And I'm not attacking her for saying this. As a figurehead. As a leader in the ADOS movement. She should be saying something like this. It is very appropriate and correct. For her to say something like this in response to Cynthia McKinney's tweet. It's it's 100 percent correct. But I'm not attack I'm not that's not why I'm using this tweet. 
is to say that she's wrong for saying this by itself. What I am saying is that this is a further example of the double talk and the hypocrisy that comes out of this movement. Because as you guys know, and as I have been breaking down, Yvette has been encouraging us to vote for these very same people that in this tweet she's saying have thrown us away. And I know what the, the Yvette Carnell trolls and defenders are going to say already. Oh, stop lying. She said not to vote for the National Democrats. She said vote for the local Democrats. The local Democrats are the one passing these kind of laws. And just to give an example, I don't even have to say it. My brother, one of my brothers on that comes on my channel, shout out to him, Zulu Black, who's always one of the best commenters on my channel, he posted this comment on my channel today, and it's one of the best comments. As always, his comments are one of my best comments. So let's read it. He says, the link below, and he posted a link. That's why he's saying the link below. But the link below details Senate Bill S-1747B, which allows illegal immigrants in New York City to acquire driver's licenses. Notice who the backers of the NYC green light law are. And he posted a link to provide his proof. And I'm going to post that same link in the description box of my video. All Democrats. Again, I'm going to read that sentence again. Notice who the backers of the NYC green light law are. All Democrats. And ADOS slash FBA are being asked to support Democrats by way of down ballot voting, which is illogical as national State and local Democrats are in lockstep with one another and pushing in terms of pushing anti-black policies. This is why I had such a problem with the down ballot strategy and why I called it dangerous. Because I said one of the first things I said was in my local city, the local black mayors have been nothing but faces for gentrification. Nothing but faces for gentrification. The last two black mayors we had have been nothing but front men and faces for gentrification. So I already knew because I understand white supremacy that the de that the Democrats from down to the dog catcher up to the president all have anti-black policies. Shout out to the brother Brian Simmons. He made a great comment. He said, "Since when did the Democrats split up into factions like the Beatles, where the National Democrats are on one tip and the local Democrats are on another tip?" And he even said the only way of that Antone strategy of having local politicians that are totally disconnected from the National Party is if you live in a one traffic light city, a rural, middle of nowhere, bumfuck ass town, for lack of a better term. That's the only time you're going to live in a city where the politicians, the local Democrats are, have, are under no influence from the National Democrats. That's the only time that you're going to be able to live in a city. Where the local Democrats aren't exactly like the National Democrats. Yet and still there are people who are telling you to vote for the Democrats down ballot. And yes, even you trolls, you can't deny because that's been your main defense. She said don't vote for the top, vote for the local Democrats. Well, guess what? Guess who's passing these laws? It's the local Democrats passing these um, green light laws. In New Jersey, the brother Brock Sampson, he also said the same thing. They're doing the same thing in New Jersey. Passing laws that allow illegal immigrants to vote and have driver's license before black Americans who have felonies can. A vet is agreeing with what I'm saying. That's why she's saying that the Dems are throwing you away. But what she's not agreeing with or what she has also done is at the same time, she's been the one telling us to vote down ballot for the Democrats. And no, she didn't say write in. Again, I've already broken down how that was her last resort. That's why she kept saying, I find it hard to believe. Let me give y'all an analogy. If I have orange trees, or I own orange trees, or apple trees, I own a, an, or an orchard of apple trees. And it is my personal belief whether it's true or not, it's my personal belief that I have plentiful apples that are fresh and ready to eat. And I go out and I send a worker. I assign workers to, a, to my trees. But I feel like every tree 
or at least the majority of my trees have plenty of apples. Plenty. If one of my workers who's assigned to a specific tree comes back to me and says, I couldn't, I didn't pick any apples because none were fresh. What would my response be if I have a strong belief that I have plenty of apples and that there's no way he couldn't find at least one that was fresh? What would I say? I find it hard to believe that you couldn't find at least one apple. That's what I would say, because I know good and damn well, I have every single tree is full of fresh apples. But even if that's not true, I know that I have so many fresh apples out there that I find it hard to believe that you couldn't even find one apple on that tree that wasn't fresh. That's how I would respond. If I agreed, if I knew that it was going to be difficult to find a tree with a fresh apple, if any, if I agreed that it would be difficult, if I did not feel that I had an abundance, if I already knew that there was a scarcity in my orchard and that it would be hard for my workers to find fresh apples to pick off my trees, I would not say I find it hard to believe. I would agree. Hey, you're right. You said that you don't have Any apples to pick off that tree? I agree because I already know the apples are in a bad state. So it's not impossible for you to come back and say that there's no apples on the tree that you were assigned to. I wouldn't say I find it hard to believe if I already know that there's no apples to be found or that it's going to be very hard to find any apples if there are any out there. I wouldn't say I find it hard to believe if I know that there's a scarcity and a lack. So when a vet says that she finds it hard to believe that you don't have at least one Democrat to vote for, what she's saying is the reason why she finds it hard to believe that there's not at least, which means at minimum, at bare minimum, at the bottom of the scale, one, is because she she believes or she knows that there are plenty of Democrats for us to vote for. But where? That's why when we point all across the country, the only thing Democrats are doing, local Democrats, the local state city senators that she told us to vote for. All they're doing is passing green light laws for illegal immigrants and being faces and front men and token for gentrification. That's all they're doing all across the nation. And even if you disagree, remember what a vet said, at least wait till the ballot comes out. So a vet. At least wait till the ballot comes out before we announce that we're going to vote down Democrat. You can't even wait till the ballot comes out and look all the way down the ballot and see who's on the ballot and see who has a black agenda and see who's not pushing a green light law before you announce that we're voting down Democrat. And again, if you want to be dishonest, because I provided too much proof in previous videos. So if you if you're if you're a troll who's come to the point where you're going to say that a vet never said vote Democrat down ballot, I'm blocking you off my channel. Because she said it, plain as day, and I provided too much evidence. I provided that clip at the beginning of this video to reiterate it. But what I'm going to do is I'm about to play something real quick. I'm going to play that clip again, but I'm not going to play the whole clip that you saw. I'm just going to play a specific part. So one minute here, fam. One second, my bad, fam. Here we go, one minute. At the top. But down ballot, you consistently vote Democratic unless you got a candidate that you fully research and you don't like their policies. I did- let's, let's hear it again. At the top. But down ballot, you consistently vote Democratic unless you got a candidate that you fully research and you don't like their policies. I did that with Jackie Lacey here and now. Let, let, let's hear it again, because I'm not done driving the point home, because people want to keep lying. There's too many dishonest people. Like I said, I'm going to go further probably into that in a constructive discourse video. But because there's so many liars that show up on my channel, I'm going to play it again. Los Angeles, she was a di- Democrat. At the top. But down ballot, you consistently vote Democratic unless you got a candidate that you fully research and you don't like their policies. At the top. But down ballot, 
you consistently vote Democratic unless you got a candidate that you fully research and you don't like their policies. I did that. Okay, so again, again, family, you heard the man say it. So unless the man is confused and don't know what the hell he's talking about on his own strategy, because I know people try to give me extra explanations and extra things and what it means and all of this other stuff. The man said it. You assume that the Democrats are your friends unless you research them. He just said it. That's that's why I played it four more times. Y'all just heard the man say it. This is why the down ballot strategy is so dangerous. And then people keep trying to tell this lie that, oh, they only said it because black people normally vote Democrat. It doesn't matter who we normally vote for, especially if we have the intelligence to understand that the Democrats are dangerous for us. If you were simply trying to tell people to stay engaged, you that's all you have to say. You don't have to say Democrat. I played the video last time from the conference when a vet said vote down ballot and Tone made sure to interject Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. You don't have to say Democrat just because black people normally vote Democrat if you're not promoting pro-Democrat strategies. You don't have to say it. All you have to say is vote down ballot. If black people normally vote Democrat and that's what they end up voting, you don't have to say that. That makes no sense. So for the people who have shown up to my channel, and again, I'm probably going to readdress this in my next constructive discourse video because that's one of the lies that I'm referring to. She does not have to say distinguished Democrat just because black people normally vote Democrat. If you're not intentionally supporting the Democrats, you don't have to say Democrat just because black people normally do that. We don't need that instruction. Just say vote down ballot. And if the person's a Republican, they're going to vote Republican. If they're Democrat, they're going to vote Democrat. If your whole goal is just to keep us engaged and you're not committing to a particular party, you just don't want us to fall out the process. You don't have to say Democrat. I'm going to repeat it again. If you intent is to simply keep us engaged, because that's what some of the liars have said on my channel. If your goal is to simply keep us engaged, you do not have to say Democrat. I don't care if 100 percent of black people vote for Democrats. You don't have to say it. You don't have to say it, especially if you're not intentionally pushing it. All you have to do is say vote down ballot. But as I played as the as I played in that clip from the conference in my last video, the ADOS conference, when a vet announced vote down ballot, Tone stepped in and said Democrat. So he made it known who he's telling his people to vote for. The local Democrats, the same local Democrats who pass these green light laws, who, who oversee gentrification of our cities. The same local Democrats that are going to have something for you to vote for, that a vet finds hard to believe that there's not one of those local green light supporting Democrats. Illegal immigration, sanctuary city supporting Democrats. She finds it hard to believe that there's not one of those sanctuary city voting Democrats in your local area for you to vote for. She finds it hard to believe that there's not one sanctuary city Democrat for you to vote for. Not one gentrification Democrat for you to vote for in your local area. She finds it hard to believe. And that's why I played that clip, because Tone just said it. So no matter what y'all are saying, Tone said it. And he's made sure to explain it on multiple occasions. As a matter of fact, fam, let's do this. Let's do this real quick. L let's play this part where, um, let's play the audio from the conference real quick. One second, fam, let me pull it up. One second, my bad, fam. It's taking me a second to find it, but I'm almost there. All right, here we go, fam. We have to stand on our square, and we have said in no uncertain terms that politics is an exchange. It's not a gift. So what that means, we're not just going to stay at home. What that means is that we have decided that we're voting down ballot. Democratic. Democratic. Why? Why do you have to say Democrat? You should have just let a vet say down ballot. You don't have to remind her Democrat. 
If you're just telling us to stay engaged, that's all you need to do is stay engaged. I don't care who you vote for, just stay engaged. Just stay engaged and involved in the process. You don't have to say anything else. We don't need the extra instruction. It's totally un- inappropriate and unnecessary. And if you're a troll who wants to tell me that she didn't mean that or they didn't mean to say that, you have to at least admit that they have been constantly misspeaking. And constant misspeaking on a strategy that you came up with. I've said this before. If a person who comes up with a strategy does not know how to explain it, that tells you something either about that person, that strategy, or both. Meaning that that person's ability to think is flawed. That's why they can't explain strategies that they came up with, even if the strategy is a good idea. Or that strategy is flawed. That's why they can't explain the strategy, because it's flawed. Or both, that person's thinking and their strategy is flawed. So if a person who comes up with a strategy is not good at explaining it, either that person, their strategy, or both are flawed. Let's play it again. I'm going to play these clips multiple times just to drive this point home beyond debate. One second, fam. We have to stand on our square, and we have said in no uncertain terms that politics is an exchange. It's not a gift. So what that means, we're not just going to stay at home. What that means is that we have decided that we're voting down ballot. Democratic. Democratic. We got a lot of Democrats. Playing it again. We have to stand on our square. And we have said in no uncertain terms that politics is an exchange. It's not a gift. So what that means, we're not just going to stay at home. What that means is that we have decided that we're voting down ballot. Democratic. Democratic. We got a lot of Democrats that need our help, whether it's your local city councilman, local... Yeah, your local city councilman, your local state lawmaker that's going to pass green light anti-black racist laws. That's who we need to support. And we ain't even seen the ballot yet. Remember, Yvette, you said that. We ain't even seen the ballot yet. You told me we ain't seen the ballot yet. Can you at least wait till the ballot comes out before you announce Democrats? And again, for those of y'all who are saying, oh, she just she just said Democrats because that's who we normally vote for. You know, I don't care who we normally vote for. You don't need to distinguish it. There is absolutely no need to distinguish it. Just say what you meant. I want you guys to stay engaged. Just stay engaged. You don't have to make sure you emphasize Democrat, because what if they are Republican? Even though most of us uh, vote Democrat, what if they are Republican? And if you're not biased towards a particular party, you don't have to say it, because if they are Democrat, naturally, they'll go vote for it. Even without you saying go to vote Democrat, they'll go vote for Democrats anyway. All you have to do is say, stay engaged, stay involved. You don't have to mention any party. And it makes no sense. And I'm it's getting to the point where, especially after I make my constructive discourse video, where people come to my channel saying that she only said Democrats because black people normally vote for Democrats. After I make my constructive discourse video, I'm going to consider that trolling. Because I've given you chances to stop lying on my channel because that's a lie. That's a straw man and a distraction for you to hide behind to find a way to, to defend that dangerous ass Democrat down ballot strategy. Just say you want to commit political suicide and go. Don't stay on my channel. If you're going to come babbling that lie about, oh, she only said Democrats because black people normally vote Democrat. I'm going to consider you a political suicide babbler, a suicide babbler. That's what I call you. Call y'all suicide babblers. And I'm going to block you off my channel because I'm not going to let you influence other people on my channel to become suicide babblers. Because that's all it is, is. It's suicide babble. That's why a vet is agreeing, agreeing with me and the screen cap when she's saying that Dems have thrown us away. Problem is, is that she don't realize that they've thrown us away from the top of the ballot to the bottom. And I already knew that from day one that I called it out, which is why I say she don't understand white supremacy if she's pushing strategies like Democratic down ballot. Or if it takes a green light law to come out for her to realize what I was saying about voting for Democrat down ballot. If it takes all of that, if it takes them to pass more anti-black laws for you to realize what I was saying about anti about Democrat down ballot. 
which is why I'm going to keep going in on it, because I know a lot of trolls are still going to be against me and upset that I'm calling her out and upset that I'm calling out Democrat down ballot. But I'm not going to allow her or I'm going to do everything I can because maybe I can't stop her. Maybe her platform is too big, but I'm going to do everything I can. To stop her from convincing our people to commit political suicide because a vet agrees. And that's why I use the screen cap I use. She agrees with me. But she talks out the other side of her mouth because she doesn't understand white supremacy and tells you to vote down ballot Democrat. But anyway, fam, that's another rant, another video. Um, Like, share, subscribe and peace.